Today, I wanna to share with you what I actually do as a web designer, what my day looks like, and what are the types of tasks that I encounter. Anything I do on any given day falls into four categories, communication, technical, productivity, and self-improvement. That last category is by far the most enjoyable and has the highest amount of impact in my work, my life, and just honestly my overall well-being. More on that later. I'm breaking down my day into categories rather than time because of how reactive I need to be when a situation comes up. What I will say though is that I like to do all the heavy thinking stuff first thing in the morning. Afternoons are good for light meetings like quick check-ins or some soft problem solving and workshopping. And generally speaking, it's perfect for just heads down, deep focused work like development or design. This is the ideal day, but it's pretty rare that it goes uninterrupted. I'd spend 50% of my time on communication, 30% on technical, 10% on productivity, and the final 10% on self-improvement. Although this guy tends to bleed into after hours. 50% sounds like a lot of time to spend on communications, but honestly, that's kind of the job. This category contains activities like selling my ideas, collaborating with clients or team members, and most importantly, managing relationships. Most days, I just share my work to see if I'm on the right track and get some quick feedback from people. On other days, I need to sell my ideas to convince others that what I came up with is the best solution. And that requires a lot of thinking, writing, and prep work. Communication, of course, revolves around emails. Here's a classic email that might come in. Hey Miles, we noticed that the links at the bottom of these cards should go directly to the resources external link rather than an entry page on our site. My response would be, we need an entry page because there's more content associated with that individual resource. A possible solution is adding a secondary button on the card itself to give the user the option to dive into this resource detail or just go straight to the external link. My days are filled with questions and emails like these. If I'm lucky, I'm able to respond to them right away without having to do too much research. Other times, it can totally derail my entire day because it might require some back and forth or loop other people in and start having workshops. Even though I'm not actually moving pixels or coding, it uses a similar skill set in a way because it's still design thinking and creative problem solving. Another large chunk of my day is what I'm calling technical. This is definitely the most fun and why I chose this career path. It's not all about design and development. It also includes organization, documentation, strategic thinking and planning, and most importantly, learning. In all these years, I've never gone from beginning to end where I just didn't learn anything new. But really, at the end of the day, the bulk of this like technical category is just designing and developing pages, templates, features, prototypes. I love to do sprints, so on any given day or week, I have a batch of pages that I know I have to complete. Now, if there's a big development challenge, like figuring out how to build a certain feature or working around a design constraint, I tend to schedule those right in the morning when my mind is still feeling fresh. The hardest part of my day is knowing when to stop working on something Thing and move on to another task. On most days, I actually spend managing and resolving design and technical debt. They don't require a ton of mental capacity, so I can bang this out in the afternoon. Design and technical debt are just these things that, you know, maybe you cut some corners or you didn't completely refine it, so you have to loop back around and finish them. The third category is productivity. This might only take up 10% of my day, but the tasks I do here are responsible for keeping my projects organized. I'll dedicate anywhere from half an hour to an hour or two reviewing tasks, cleaning up tasks, and writing some documentation and notes. I also keep a living document that details every single phase of a website production process. If you're interested to learn what's in this crazy document, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video about that in the near future. Now the last 10% of my day is sacred. The activities in this bucket have to do with working on motivation, self-discipline, and mental focus. Yeah, this is a very self-help vibe, but I can't stress enough how important this part of my day actually is. I'll talk about a few things that I do, but hit the like and subscribe because I'm gonna be releasing a lot more content around this. First of all, it's probably more than 10% because it goes beyond office hours. I tend to find real motivation when I see others in my line of work talk about what they do and what their experience and success has been like. So I listen to podcasts and interviews of other people that I really admire. I'll usually do this when I'm doing chores around the apartment or honestly, just like when I'm eating, I'll throw one on. Self-discipline is tough. 
I need to stay organized and avoid procrastinating because my day is packed and I just really can't afford to fall behind. And so I took up cycling to build mental toughness because endurance training can teach you a lot about yourself and how to push past that limit where your mind is telling you to stop. So anytime I've fallen off my training plan, I've seen a direct correlation with me getting lazier at work and also starting to procrastinate a lot. I prefer to do these trainings early in the morning, but honestly, it's, it's so much harder. But in some ways, that's kind of the point. So mental focus can be just as difficult as discipline. And to train this muscle, I've taken up competitive sim racing. Okay, you might think this is a crazy way to justify this ridiculous hobby, but just hear me out. It's not a video game. Game, it's a simulation. It's a video game. But the amount of focus and consistency required to be competitive has actually translated positively to my day job. Racing is all about how long can you go without making any mistakes under extreme pressure. And not only that, but how fast can you react when conditions change? Sim racing has really been that one activity that's been able to train this muscle in my mind. I'm able to get into deeper flow states and have the capacity to push longer than ever before. So that's my day. It's jam packed but hopefully that gave you an idea on what I actually do. Thanks for watching all the way at the end. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.